pails and buttercups. Contents. There are so many different kinds of animals, plants, and other organisms on Earth. There are polar bears, redwood trees, and nine-armed sea stars. Scientists put organisms into groups called species. Earth has more species than you might expect. Even types of organisms that might seem like one species are often divided into different species. For example, there are actually many different species of whales. There are blue whales, humpback whales, gray whales, and more. Millions of different species of organisms live on Earth. Organisms can have different traits. A trait is anything you can observe about an organism, including the way it looks or acts. Some animals have fur and others have feathers. Some plants have flowers and others do not. Some animals protect themselves by running fast, and others protect themselves by biting. We call these differences variation. Let's look at some examples of variation. Organisms grow to different sizes. You can find lots of variations in the sizes of different organisms. Compared to people, elephants are huge. Still, it would take about 20 big elephants to match the weight of just one blue whale. The biggest trees weigh more than 40 blue whales. You can find huge size variation even between organisms in similar species. For example, the largest species of bat is about 10 times bigger than the smallest species of bat. Difference in size is not the only kind of variation among organisms on Earth. Organisms can get around in different ways. All animals move, but different animals often move very differently. Animals may walk, run, fly, swim, or slide. Plants don't move around the way animals do, but their seeds get from place to place in different ways. We can see lots of variations in the many ways that different organisms get around. Organisms protect themselves in different ways. Organisms are often in danger of being eaten. Many animals eat plants, and some hunt and eat other animals. Organisms protect themselves from danger in lots of different ways. These differences are examples of variation. Even organisms that are very similar to one another show important variations. Even in one species, organisms are different. In this book so far, we have been looking at variations between organisms in different species. When you compare different species, you can find lots of variation. However, even within the same species, organisms can have different traits. For example, horses are all part of the same species, but they have different colors, sizes, and other traits. Variation is there, even in one species. It's easy to observe how living things are different. Living things are the same in important ways, too. Noticing how living things are similar can be harder. Still, it's very useful. How organisms are similar. Different species are related to one another. Scientists who study a species often ask, which other species is this species closely related to? To show how closely related different species are, scientists use many kinds of evidence. They get some of their evidence by observing the traits of species. They compare those traits. When the two species have similar traits, it may be evidence that they are related. Still, different species may have different traits without being closely related. For example, a red bird and a red flower both have the trait of being red, this does not mean that they are closely related. Scientists look at lots of evidence before they say which species are closely related. Scientists put related organisms into groups. One group is plants. Plants make their own food using sunlight. Another group is animals. Animals eat plants, other animals, or both plants and animals. 
those very big groups are made up of smaller groups. One smaller group is all the animals that have four limbs. Limbs are legs, arms, and wings. Animals with four limbs are one group of related organisms. Even though a lion may not look like a frog, these animals have an important trait in common, a body with four limbs. A human and a rat are also similar in this way. The fact that all these animals have four limbs is one piece of evidence scientists use to show that they are all related. A bird's wing is a kind of limb too. Birds have four limbs, two legs and two wings. The wing of a bird has the same basic bones as your arm. These limb bones are evidence that birds belong in the same group as lions, frogs, rats, humans, and other animals with four limbs. The group of animals with four limbs is a big group, contains many smaller groups. Some organisms have feathers. A smaller, more closely related group is made up of birds. All birds have feathers to cover them. This trait is similar among all birds. That similarity is an important piece of evidence that all birds are related. Birds do not look that do not all look alike though. Each species of birds has feathers that make it look different from other birds. Colorful feathers help some birds attract mates. Brown and green feathers help other birds hide in trees. Let's look at even smaller and more closely related group with even more traits in common. The category of birds can be divided into many different species such as blue jays. A species is a group of organisms that are closely related. The organisms in a species have important traits in common. For example, blue jays all have blue wings with black markings. They have strong feet for perching on branches. Their similar traits are evidence that blue jays are all closely related. There are millions of different species living on Earth. Still, all organisms on Earth are similar in at least one way. All organisms are related. There is one way all or that all organisms are the same. They are made of tiny parts called cells. Some organisms have only one cell. Other organisms are made of many cells. Whether they are big or small, plant or animal, all living things are made of tiny cells. Cells are the basic parts that make up organisms. Being made of cells is a trait that all organisms have in common. This is evidence that all organisms are related to one another. Even though organisms can be so different, we are all related.